Well, yeah, good morning. Pat Wright with LegalizeFerris.org. I do have a PowerPoint that I brought. Was this, uh, uh, was this PowerPoint approved, uh, Melissa? I'm sorry? Was this PowerPoint approved? Was this something that was uh, arranged ahead of time? Uh, are you Pat? Yes. Yes. Right, there, there you go. Yes. Okay, thank you. Just want to check. How yeah, give give, give them one second, Pat, so they get it up for you. Okay. Also, we need to come and turn the screen up front here now, if you would. And then... Just give, just give us a second or two, okay? I want to make sure that's fine. I'm trying to... I want to make sure we can... Our screen is off here, so I can't see it looking at it. So give us one second. Okay, we're set. Thank you for Thank waiting. Thank you. Um, last time I was here, uh, we simply asked, uh, we, we were declined, for, and this is, you would think I would learn how to do this. To go to the next slide. Is the battery dead? Or am I using the wrong device? There you go. There it's we go. Um, this is the, the, the cause of all our problems, is ferrets are classified as uh, wild animals um, when they're not, and I think everybody in this room will agree, well maybe a few people, that, that ferrets are domestic and um, after the last meeting President Sklar said that it's not as simple as it looks, that um, you would be sued by the environmentalists. We were advised to get a legislature, a legislator, because legislation is not subject to CEQA. Uh, and we spent a lot of time seeking out legislators, but when they see the word wild, we are generally dead. Um, and the Sierra Club opposes ferret legalization because they also classify ferrets as wild. They classify them as wild because the Fish and Game Commission classifies them as wild. They point to you and say, well, if Fish and Game changes their position, um, we'll consider changing our position at that point. Um, and I feel that the, the wild issue is just a smokescreen, that there are a lot of people out there, environmentalists, who are opposed to one more pet. Um, uh, some people consider uh, ferret legalization or pet ownership, animal slavery. Other people talk about the carbon footprint of pets. Um, it's much more complicated. I don't think these people are reasonable and these are the people that are being listened to, not ferret owners. So we put together a little video and if I can move this to the next one. There we, no, I went backwards. How do you go forward? I have a degree in computer science, by the way. There, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Are you helping me? Okay. Yeah. Then go to the last one, please, and click, it's a video, and it should click on. It's linked to YouTube. Only While he's first. doing that, though, I think we're handicapped because of the classification of wild, <laughs> and I understand the, um, the concern. I mean, I think a lot of ferret owners don't want ferrets in pet stores, um, so there should be some sort of restrictions. It's not like dogs and cats. Can I get the video going, please? I hope it's not eating into my time. Don't worry, we'll let you play it if we can. can it, was, it, it may not link and play because of Wi-Fi wi wi here or something. So we, there's no. They're trying, but if it's not going to work, then then it's not going to work. Um, go, go ahead, please. But anyway, I mean, you have to admit that, that that we are under a disadvantage. Ferrets are the only domestic animal that you guys regulate. I mean, I hope that each and every one of you realize that a domestic ferret is not a wild animal, um, and the the legislature looks to you for guidance, and we don't have a lot of clout. So when we go to a legislator, they will say, first of all, they think we're ridiculous, and then secondly, they say, well, a fishing game says that a ferret is a wild animal, um, that's good enough for them, meeting is over. Is there something you can give us? I know you cannot, because Ari explained it to me, and I won't take the time to reiterate what he said. Is there something you can give us that ferrets fall under a special classification, that they are not wild animals, but you cannot remove them from the prohibited species list because of what that would result in. So you have a lot of more clout in front of legislators. You know it's not fair. I mean, when you go to bed at night, I mean, I don't, you probably don't care about ferrets, but you know it's not fair to label them as a wild animal when you know they are domestic. And that designation is really hampering us from finding a legislator. And I don't get my video. We'll, we'll get a chance to look at it. We'll make sure the staff can show it to us. Uh, oh, well, thank you very but much. Thank you guys, you guys thank are you very for, accommodating. I do appreciate it. But thank you for your time. Um, right. And any other speakers on any topic uh, related to these petitions? 
Okay, seeing none, uh, any questions or comments from commissioners? Commissioner Murray, please. Thank you. I, I just wondered if there's anything Ari or Mike potentially would like to say in response to the, the wild part of, of the definition or anything else in response to the speakers? Ari? I don't, I don't necessarily have any specific comment. Great, thank you. <laughs> okay. Mike? No. Uh, not, not unless you have any specific questions. I don't. Yeah. Um, so a couple things. Uh, I'll, I'll mention something about uh, ferrets first, which is that we've had this before us uh, very many times. Uh, this commission's not going to, I don't, I don't believe should or, or has or should, and we've been rightful at right in our, our past actions of not taking action on this. If, if the legislature wants to uh, take action on this, which I highly recommend, given my comments before about this is the right place to do this stuff, um, what domestic or wild is, is is a complicated question. It's not. I know. I know. You, you keep saying we know. We don't know that they're not wild animals. I don't. I don't know that they're not wild animals. Um, the fact is, is that uh, it, 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 while ferret owners really deeply believe that they're not wild animals and have them as pets, that doesn't mean it's they're not wild animals. So I, I don't have any inclination to take this up. If, if you can get something done at the legislature, you know that that's fine. That they have that authority. Um, I, I think they misuse it sometimes, but they have the authority if they want to do that. Um, and so uh, I don't recommend that we take it up. On, on another issue, which is the Falcon issue, um, you know, I think this commission has made it clear that we, we, we want to see rehabilitated Falcons taken care of. So it's not an issue of that. It's, there's already a petition in. What I would ask is that the department move more quickly on the existing petition on rehabilitated Falcons and get back to us as quickly as possible. Stafford, please. Uh, yes, uh, right now we're, everything is on hold pending the litigation that's been filed uh, regarding the um, falconry regulations. So we're Can you not- you remind me what that lit litigation's about and, and who's being, is it, are we being sued or is it the 